Okay, getting close to the end. Somehow the dog is holding on to life. And I don't know how, but it looks like there's some people who might help us with vet costs. So these are indeed our very final moments. He's somehow just in a peaceful, restful state, though, from the last, I would say, day and a half since he had the worst of it. I think the heart led to a stroke. And he has paralysis. He can't walk anymore. But every now and again, he gets a desire for food and water. Not really. But sometimes he's tried to pull himself to his water dish and that. He doesn't like me leaving his dishes near where he's sleeping. I have to actually keep them at a bit of a distance. So I just kind of lift them and bring them, bring him to the dish because he prefers to do that. But I've brought him up in the bed, put a sheet under him and feed him with a syringe, water and uh, make a gravy from canned food, the veterinarian prescribed canned food. Once I give him a few doses of that, even if he doesn't feel like it, he sometimes gets a little desire just to lick some of the food from the dish himself. Very little, but you just see that life come back in his eyes and a little bit of a shine. He lifts his head. But for the most part, yes, he's doing a little bit of heavy breathing sometimes, but nowhere near like he was. Pants. He's going to the bathroom less. I was surprised he dragged himself out there, got on the pee pad, and did have one big pee. I've been trying to hold him up while he goes. He won't seem to pee when I'm doing that. I don't know if that's because he's not able to. Sometimes it seems like he wants out there. But anyways, today he hasn't peed. So I'm looking at possible renal failure here. Anyways... That's my update. This is our really getting to the end of saying goodbye, but he's been at peace somehow naturally since he had the worst of the worst and it put him in the worst state possible. Somehow it's brought a peace on him and a rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I'm shocked because the last month has been horrible. I'm, I'm shocked that he's even sleeping. He's not waking up and panic not to breathe. I don't understand that. But anyways, I guess this is the process. I can't say I've ever been through it like this because normally I would have euthanized my animal by now. <laughs>